I am Euripides, Euripides Lascaridis, and we are in Athens. <laughs> I'm very fond of the idea of working from the outside to the inside. I tend to just look at the image and then everything comes second. And what kind of stories the scene telling is not really important. It's important to, to be joyful to my eye, to my imagination. If it's interesting to my eye, then I can focus on, on enriching it inside. In Greek reality, where you don't have a stable funding, you don't have any support from the government if you're uh, independent, for at least six years now, what this has ended up being is a circle of people, a circle of friends and a circle of collaborators and supporters. We respect each other and appreciate each other's work, so we gladly go into each other's rehearsals in order to discuss creatively and, uh, and develop the pieces. I love to bring people to my rehearsal at a point where I think something is ready to be seen and open up that little circle to a bigger circle and uh, get more feedback and keep on working on the, on the piece. It's, um, it's like you have previews every week. One of the reasons we connect with transformation is because it is part of the DNA, it's part of what we are made of. <laughs> As a tool, transformation is, is very useful for me. I can imagine, I can dream. Whenever I see something, somebody's form shifted or changed, immediately my imagination flourishes. Mm. I think that humanity, human beings, have a, a very funny side of them, a very ridiculous side. We tend to take ourselves very seriously. And, and somehow I think there's lots to be said about that funny side of ours, that ridiculous side of ours, where you, can, you get caught with your pants down. Um, I was uh, lucky to have uh, had the experience of um, theatre in school and since then I've been trying to find, to regain the excitement and the joy of doing something r really enjoyable on stage and thus, for that reason, sharing it. And half of the work is already done. The other has, half has to do with context, has to do with dramaturgy, has to do with talent. But half of the work, I think, is creating something that you wish to share, that you are burning to share with the world. I'm looking to have fun. I'm looking to create something that is enjoyable. I'm looking to find something to grab from, this figure that I can grab from, and use her to create small little dreams, small little poems. Relic is a, is a piece about 
things that are left behind. Uh, whether that may be a person, a memory, a language. I have this wish to wear the body of a fat lady. This is the costume, a relic. So this is just the legs and the butt. I speak, but I don't speak words that, that people understand. Yeah. You can take a good 45 minutes to create the whole thing with a... Because I do some little makeup under the mask. Everything is covered with, uh, with stockings yes. from top to bottom. We thought we, this was going to be um, the test with which we would do actually the good costume. Uh -huh. So the other leg is a little bit different because we were trying a different method. I thought it was beautiful the way it was. So I started building on this and working on this costume. Suddenly, the, the work of all these years just came into this one piece and, and came together. It, made, it made sense. And of course, it had to do with what I was going through the moment that I was doing it. It had to do a lot with what was, Greece was going through. It has to do with uh, my past. It has to do with my wishes. It has to do with my collaborators, of course. It's, it's really interesting to see that uh, all these things are there, all these colors are there. And for me, it's not important for the audience, but for me it's really nice. It's really, it's, it has something to do with my identity at the end of the day. And it's a piece that questions identity so much that it's very interesting that um, it is me, it is my identity. It's like a, a, a stamp.